Hey guys, uh, Shannon here. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I am remodeling a 1970 uh, Airstream Overlander International. Uh, it's a land yacht. Uh, I think that's kind of a general thing, but anyway, um, as you can see, most of the Reflectix is in. This is my first layer before I get my um, electrical in. And I'm doing the end. This is kind of the awkward, weird part. This is taking a lot more reflectives than I thought it was going to. I did um, 200 square feet with the first two rolls. Did about two thirds of it. So it's going to take. I think it's going to take another 200 square feet because of all these little awkward spots. Uh, and the end, because there isn't windows and stuff down here, is taking a little bit more space. So I wanted to show you real quick how I'm doing it. Most of this, I just tucked it into the ribs, and it pretty much held it. And then I'm going in and taping up the seams and then along the edges here. But in here, this is a little bit more awkward, so I went and got double-sided tape, and I'm just putting little patches of it, and it looks like they had done that before. I'm not sure if it was for the for this or not, but there was little patches of double-sided tape here, so it was for something else. I'm not sure what. Uh, I think it's those little, um, actually, I think it's the little gray things that hold the electrical in the walls and stuff, so I popped all those off, of course. And I'm just taking little pieces of it and sticking it on the wall. Now I put some flex seal sealer stuff to seal up some of my seams just in case. I don't know that it's uh, necessary. I haven't seen any leaking through here, but just for the sake of overkill. Um, so it won't stick to this. But just putting that on these spaces, or in these spots, and then uh, when I get ready, peel the red off. The other side doesn't want to come off quite as easy. Um, but anyway, you get the picture. And then for these awkward spots, I just cut a piece that came to about here and just trimmed it out. And I'll tuck some down in here and that kind of stuff. But that's getting that done. And then I'll cut a piece, fill in this corner, and then I'll get over to the other side and do the same thing. But And then I've still got to go down the center and do the other end. But that's kind of, that's basically the process I'm going through. I uh, don't know if that's the right way, but it seemed to work the best for me, so um, maybe you'll find something that works better for you, but. Okay, so Reflectix is done. I'm so excited. So as you can see, it's pretty much everywhere. Got it all the way around. Um, and I was really impressed with, you know, I was hoping, God, please hope this is financially worth it. And the time is taking me two good solid, I'd say two full solid 10 hour days to do it. Um, but mind you, I'm doing it by myself, so it, you know, two people can knock this out in a day without any trouble. One person cutting and piecing, and the other person taping up. Um, so pretty easy, but I, it's, you know, it was a cooler day today in Texas, but uh, not terribly cooler. It just hasn't been over 100 today uh, because we had the storms come through and I put my hand behind um, some that I had placed that was on the front to tuck a little extra double sided tape back there and it was probably a 20 degree difference so um, as far as I'm concerned already worth it so I had some extra left and uh, I used about 410 400, or, yeah, 410 square feet on interior of 23 square feet or 23 foot long, I think this is, that comes up to 186 square foot at the floor, which of course means, so maybe 195 square feet um, wall to wall at the waist. So um, 410 square feet of Reflectix on the walls and ceiling. Uh, and then um, I had some left over because of course I had to break into the other one that I was hoping to take back. So I went ahead and uh, wrapped the wheel wells. I was going to put some insulation on those anyway once I framed them in and since I had it why not so framed those in and then I'll put a little bit of pink insulation or the uh, rock wool I think I'm gonna go with rock wool um, Gypsy Wanderer used that and it looked uh, it, they had some good reasoning behind doing it as far as it being all natural and that kind of stuff so it's uh, so I'll put some of that in between the furring strips when I box that in before I put the wood on top but that's, uh, that's got it. Electrical is next. It's gonna be about two weeks before I get to the electrical just because of timing and work and stuff like that. And 
so a week and a half, but I've got some help coming for that. Uh, that's, uh, that's the only thing I don't know how to do. Plumbing, everything else I'm totally good with, but electrical is DC, AC, inverters, converters. Woo! Anyway, so I'll do a video when we're getting through all that and, and put some uh, stuff up about putting the electrical in and where I'm going to put it. And that should be it. So thanks. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you uh, like what you're seeing and don't want to miss a video. And then to get notified of new videos, just you know hit that little bell and it'll let you know when I put a new video up. So thanks for watching. Bye.